Is the climate change real or is it a fictionary story? Hello and welcome to the side news. I'm the real European. Yeah, this is a topic which is very crucial because the discussion in the past about is the climate change real or fake was very huge also in the world of the scientists. But um, today there is one solution of all these discussions that there is a human-made climate change so that the climate on our planet is changing because of us humans and not because of the sun or the other things. But in this video we will also look at stories which are people posting and tell us um, that um, the climate change does not exist because we want to um, compare these stories which are um, against climate change so that they think that this does not exist and stories uh, which show us that the climate change is existing so that's gonna start yeah um for, uh, we will start with the stories which um are about the thing that climate change doesn't exist so for example we have one united president of the united states which is very popular of saying that i hope I think that you know which person I mean. It's Donald Trump. He has said some times and very often that um, there is not climate change. Because what he has said is that everything what is happening today is normal in the world. So this means that um, mean and minus 30 degrees in Washington are normal. So this is happening every year. And it's also... Um, not a seasonal event, it could be happening this year or in 100 years, so it's not like a rhythm. And also what he is saying is that this um, heated temperatures are also an, only a momentum, so that they are a lie of the media, so they does not exist, that there are temperatures above 40 degrees in some parts of the United States, but this is not true. And what he is also saying that the climate will be hotter on Earth in future because the sun is growing. So Mr. Trump is saying that the climate change doesn't exist and the United States leave uh, also the climate agreement in 2018. But his predecessor or the incumbent United President of the United States, Joe Biden, um, has go, go back. He has now, the United States are today back in the climate agreement of from Paris, from 2016. And why? Because of one thing, because the United Nations also have declared that there is a climate crisis. So everybody who's saying that the, United, the, the UN, the United Nations, have said that there is, that they said there is no climate change. That's not true. That's a lie. This is a fake news because of some reasons. For example, what we know today is that our atmospheric, the atmospheric of the Earth, is stronger than some years ago. But why is the atmospheric stronger? Because why it can change so fast? This is not real. But yeah, it's real. Because, some numbers for you, 78% of our atmospheric are from, um, sorry, from um, nit nitrogen. So and 21% from oxygen, 1% argon, and then we have other gases. And what we have also are 0.05% carbon dioxide. But um, the thing is that the carbon dioxide percent has rise in the last years. So we have um, only 200 um, um, micrometer per um, mode, moles, um, as moles per micrometer, um, in the 1990s, this number was 300. And now we are at 460 moles per micrometer in the atmospheric. So this number is rising very fast. No other gas in the atmospheric is rising. Only carbon dioxide percent is rising from 0.01 to 0.05. And this is not good because when the atmospheric of a planet is stronger, then the planet temperature will rise. And we see this with Earth's temperature. The average temperature is below 16 degrees of the Earth. So of 
all temperatures across the year in every region, you have this strong number below 16. Now we have the thing that it's over 16 and it's uh, on the way to 70 to 17 degrees. And this is bad. Bad for humans, bad for all other life on the planet. For the plants, for the animals, for the ocean life, for humans, for the life in the air. So everybody, every life, every plant, they will be in trouble and in stress because higher temp we are not made for higher temperatures. Mostly life on the earth is not, not made for higher temperatures. Also we humans. We humans can only live in the temperatures which are now on earth. Not more, not less, because we can't live with them. Our body is not made for this. And the other thing is that why is more CO2 or more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Because of some reasons. Because of fossil fuels like coal, natural gas and um, oil. So they are also uh, below 63% of all gas, em of all carbon um, dioxide emissions. And we have also forest deforestation, 30%. This is, yeah, this is a point where we can say that some of them are not human made, but the, the most deadliest of them are made by humans, like in the uh, Amaz Amazonas rainforest. This fire of the deforestation there is made by humans and not by the nature or by animals or someone else. This is made by humans. And what we have also is that um, the thing is that we have some places on Earth where the carbon dioxide will be um, uh, going back from the atmospheric into the nature. So we have carbon dioxide dis destin destin destinations. So it will go back from the atmospheric back to Earth. But the thing is that some of them cannot um, get more carbon dioxide. For example, our oceans. They have emitted more than 30% of all carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. But now the ocean is at the point that they can't get more. So this means that um, the thing is that the, the carbon dioxide percent in the atmosphere will be rise. And they will rise, 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 rise more than we can expect it. And we cannot, we don't know what will happening with the planet when this process will be happen. So this means that we humans has made the climate change and the climate crisis. So we are the bad guys in this story and not something else. Because we know that when you use oil and gas, there will be a product at the end. And that is carbon dioxide. And this product, you can't eat it. You can't use it to live. So it will be at the end in the atmospheric and this will be a reason why our temperatures are rising or with more natural disasters. And our only way to stop this is to work against this process that we will use renewable energy for our electricity, for our society. Then only we can reduce the carbon dioxide emissions and then we can get the point where we will be, will be um, not emitted more um, than the plants and also the oceans can get from the from the atmospheric so that we are in, not in the in the plus thing that we will be in the minus thing this means our emissions lower than earth can um, go back so that um there is not a thing which is happening today that the atmospheric um also that the carbon dioxide in the atmospheric the percentage is rising, so that it will, will be declining. But to get to this point will be a long, long way. And we must also begin this way today and not in the future. And in this discussion are people not good, but it's not good to say that the climate change doesn't exist because it is existing. And when you are saying this, then your grandchildren will be saying in future, why has he said that? Why has he said or she said that there is no climate change because we are now living in that. And they will say, they will hate you if you are saying there is no climate change.
Thank you very much for tuning in.